Hi everyone, I have a Bible code that I would like to share with you. I actually found this last night. What happened was I was watching this video by Paul Begley where he says over here, urgent U.S. citizens warned to prepare for nuclear threat. And for some reason I was inspired to search for a Bible code and I just thought I would put in the words atomic war and if you put in just atomic war it actually comes up with only two matches one of them comes up in Nahum 3 and the other one comes up in Luke 14 and what's amazing is how the matrix or the matrices in both of these matches with the terms you put in. That's always w what's really amazing. It's not so much the date setting, although I did try putting in 10th month and that came up in this one. And in this one, it comes up if you put in month 10, it comes up that way, but I couldn't get 10th month to come up in this one. And then I tried putting seven Seven would not come up in either one, but when you put in sept, which means seven, it comes up in the one in Luke 14, which is the one that I got more terms to come up in. I'm sure there's other terms, but I only tried a few. The one in um, Nahum 3 uh, in this matrix I couldn't really think of any other terms to put in, but as I was reading over the matrix, I realized that I believe I've read this matrix before. So apparently there are other terms because I've done another Bible code that came up with the same matrix, but I just can't remember what the Bible code was on and what other terms might be in there. Obviously, if I could remember the the Bible code that I had done this on before, then I, I would be able to come up with more terms to put in this one. But like I had said, what's really amazing is the matrix and how the matrix reads and the terms that come up just in the plain text, how they match up with the search terms that you're searching for is, is what's really amazing. Over here you see I put in the word red because I saw the word horseman coming up in the plain text and of course the atomic war would be the red horse and the word horseman comes up in the plain text so I tried putting in the word red and of course that came up as well. And then you have other terms such as corpses and bodies and you see a multitude right here. So just the way this reads, and I'll read the, the matrix uh, in a minute, but what I want to do is I want to go over this one first. This is the one that came up with the most terms. So I'll do this table first, and then I'll do the one in Nahum 3 after this one. Okay, as you can see, this one reads Atomic, War, Obama, Tenth Month, Natan, and Natan is a Jewish boy who had a vision of World War III, among other things. And Rami is the name of the rabbi who was interviewing him. And then I put in the word tent because I'm, I'm sure the word tabernacles, that, that's a very long word. I'm sure that wouldn't come up. And you can't put in um, Hebrew words like sukkah and, and things like that. So I just tried putting in tent. For the Feast of Tabernacles and that came up. But again I'm not trying to set any dates or anything I'm just showing what terms come up. Like I said earlier what's really amazing is how the matrix reads and, and I'll read the matrix after I go over the terms. I'll do that next but as you can see here in the light red you have the word atomic with the letters A T O M I C. You have the word tenth coming up. It looks like it's in the plain text, but it's actually due to an abacus effect. It's saying 
he's able with 10,000. And so when you have 10 and 1,000 pushed together, it makes the word 10th. And then you see month coming up in the LS form in the blue with the letters M, O, N, T, H. You see the word rejoice right here. So again, this could be a, a hint of rejoicing in the 10th month, especially in the Feast of Tabernacles is where you're commanded to rejoice. So this could be a, another hint right there to the Feast of Tabernacles and to the rapture as well. And then you see war coming up here in the pink in the plain text. And you see Natan in the green, the letters N A T A N. And you see the word Rami coming up in the yellow, the letters R A M I. And of course, tent is over here in the green, the letters T E N T. And there's a few more terms that I had put in, which I'll go over in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and read the matrix now so you can see how that reads. And it's coming up in Luke 14 verses 31 and then it switches over to Luke 15 starting with verse 1 and it goes through to verse 6. So it goes over two chapters, the end of Luke 14 and the beginning of Luke 15. And so I'll go ahead and start reading from verse 31. It says, Or what king, as he goeth to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and take counsel whether he is able with ten thousand to meet him that cometh against him with twenty thousand? And this is the most important verse right here because, like I said, I was watching this video right here by Paul Begley, which is what inspired me to search for a Bible code on atomic war. And this is pretty much, in so many words, what Paul Begley was saying in the video. And I'll elaborate a little more on that in just a minute, but I just also want to point out that earlier that same day I was watching another video that was done by Mark Dice and over here he's pretty much saying the same thing it's saying over here Obama threatens cyber attack on Russia over WikiLeaks releasing Hillary emails and what he's pointing out in this video is that first of all there, there's not any real evidence that Russia has even done any hacking into any emails first of all and we're threatening to make war basically with Russia by uh, doing the cyber attack on Russia but what's interesting over here he's showing this clip of Biden and as you can see up here at the top it's saying we're sending a message to Putin well if you go back to the table and you read the very next verse that's what it's saying right here in verse 32 it says or else while the other is yet a great way off he sendeth an ambassage and asketh conditions of peace well we're really not asking for conditions of peace but Biden was saying in this clip right here that we're sending a message to Putin. In other words, we're sending ambassadors to Putin. And I'll just show you that word, ambassage, right here. You can see right here that it means ambassadors or a message. Okay, so Biden is saying in this video right here, he's saying we're sending a message to Putin. So in other words, we're sending a message that we're going to do a, a cyber attack on Russia, is what the message is. 
which of course could lead to nuclear war. And this is exactly what Paul Begley was talking about in his video. And he cited the interview with Joe Biden and he said, you know, what, what are you doing? He, he said, Putin is not playing checkers, he's playing chess. You, you don't make a move against your opponent without first thinking about what your opponent is going to do in retaliation. And this is exactly what's in the Bible code because it says over here, what king, as he encountereth another king in war, will not sit down first and take counsel whether he's able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. And that's exactly what Paul Begley was saying in this video. He said, Putin being an ex-KGB agent is not just going to sit around and take that kind of a threat or, or, or an attack against him and not retaliate. He's, he's liable to push the green button or something very close to it in retaliation. So this is like the U.S. is not thinking about the ramifications of a retaliation by making this threat is basically what he's saying here. And of course I can't say it as brilliantly as Paul Begley says it in this video here. I'm just paraphrasing. But I'll put the link to this video in the description box as, as well as the other video by Mark Dice. But this also brings up the point that Donald Trump had made in the debate about how while the U.S. has been disarming, Russia has actually been building up their nuclear arsenal. So again, this is not thinking about what we can do with 10,000 men versus going up against someone that has 20,000 men, if you think of it in terms of nuclear arsenal. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read the rest of this matrix real quick because I'm about out of time goes on to say, so therefore, whosoever be of you that renounceth not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt therefore is good, but even the salt have, but if even the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is fit neither for the land nor the dunghill. Men cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Now all the publicans and sinners were drawn near unto him to hear him. And both the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake unto them this parable, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, and having lost one of them, doth not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he hath find, found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and his neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. And again, I feel like the word rejoice could be a hint to the rapture, the Feast of Tabernacles, of course. It would make sense that that would come at the same time as an atomic war. They, they both come at the same time because we're not appointed to wrath. So once the atomic war begins, the rapture would, would also begin as well or take place as well. And you also see a mention here of the wilderness, which again would refer to the three and a half years of tribulation that the woman flees to the wilderness. So this could all be prophetic. I'm, I'm not trying to uh, predict anything. I'm just showing the terms that come up and, and what it might mean. But you do see that the word Obama comes up. You see atomic comes up as well as 10th month. I'm just showing you that these terms come up and I'm about out of time. So I'm going to have to continue with the rest of the terms of this table as well as go over the other table in the next video. Thank you.